Okay, we have the amazing Jimmy Pates in the hot seat. Are you ready for these questions? Yes, indeed. Are you sure? Positive. Positive? We're okay. ready. We like that. Okay, I'm going to start it off simple, easy. Um, what do you think is your most useless skill? Useless Useless. Skill. That's a good question. <laughs> I can't even... <laughs> Think how I'm gonna answer that. Uh, wow, the most useless skill. I saw you did that. Um, <laughs> the ego in me is telling me there's nothing useless about me. So, the most useless skill. Damn. Okay, well, think about all the skills you have. And what's the one that's like... They're plentiful, yeah. The um, least useful in that list. Wow. Uh, I can put babies to sleep. <laughs> Nothing like a choke, choke, sleep <laughs> I actually can put babies to sleep. Not gonna lie. Okay, so that's your most useless skill. Yeah. Okay. It's useful for them, but for me it's not. Fair. Okay. Is there a fashion trend you wish never existed? Crocs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's funny you said that because my next question is would you rather give up on your phone or only wear Crocs for the rest of your life? I'll only wear Crocs for the rest of my life. <laughs> Not that I'm a slave to my phone, but I've just got, you know, business in there. Okay. So I guess it's not that deep, is it? If you had the choice to live with a celebrity, who would it be? And why? Uh, live with a celebrity? Yeah. It's gonna sound weird, like if I would want to live with like a like a male celebrity, because I wouldn't want to live with a male celebrity. But the reason why I would think of a male celebrity is obviously because of the inspiration that I'll get, the energy that I'll get. You get, um, so uh, uh, I don't know, man. That's a bit weird to answer that. I can't lie to you. Like live with a celebrity, like. Live with a celebrity is a bit crazy, I can't lie to you. Yeah, but it's you learn knowledge from them, so no, 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 they no, work and everything. 100%. You know, so you can follow them, follow them around. Follow them around like I'm their lap dog. Um, well, for learning purposes, I guess it would be like um, work experience. Mm -hmm. So I'll probably little in. Okay. Just to, you know, oh, and you said, and why? Because obviously, inspiration for me, my favourite rapper, best rapper alive. And obviously, I just feel like, you know, I'll get to just be in that zone of like, you know, you get to just see like his recording process, I guess, um, how he gets into that zone. And obviously, I'll just obviously get pointers as well, you know what I'm trying to say. Um, and he birthed a whole, you know, a whole generation or two, <laughs> do you get it? So, just to be in that presence and aura, I guess, I'd like to be around that because obviously, you know, that's my favourite rapper. And you know, inspiration as well. I'm getting, I'm getting all of them pointers, and I'm feeding off that energy basically. So you know, yeah, I think I'll excel even in my music. You know, my rap skills and all of that as well. So yeah. Okay, nice. What are the common misconceptions people have about you? I'm cold-hearted. I'm evil. I don't have any feelings. <laughs> um, 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 like I'm not, I'm, I'm uh, unapproachable. <gasps> um, a lot of people think I like, like, um, like, 
like a like a like like nineties. That's a misconception. That is that's a common misconception. Like, that you know when they know how advocating a lot of black girls, they be like, oh, I don't know, I don't, I don't know why I just kind of had you down as like you like lighties. and I'm like, no, unfortunately. Why do you think they think you're cold hearted? Because uh, I don't, I don't really let off like you know, I don't really let off. Um, actually, no. Um, maybe because I'm very like I'm very like straight to the point and straightforward, so you know that hurts a lot of people's feelings. We live lies every day, so where you know when you want to tell somebody something and you just say it how it is, I guess people think, oh, you're cold hearted. Just tell me the truth, but knowing that it's gonna hurt my feelings. So, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. What makes you feel uncomfortable? Being around people that are like crowds in a sense actually like just weird yeah no crowds i don't really like human beings i always say that i actually proper don't um so yeah that like, a lot of people um that i don't know um and weird and fake energy that yeah just, yeah um yeah i think that's it i think but how do you deal with that with the work that you do because you have to be around people. Indeed, uh, for a very long time. Um, <laughs> this is probably another misconception. Like, obviously, like my, like I have very like big energy and good energy. So as much as I don't like human beings, I don't like being around people. I, you know, kind of like you know, people kind of gravitate to me like when I'm out and around. So I don't know. They come at me with a type of energy that you know, they kind of feed off my energy or whatever not, so I don't know, I mean, I have to deal with it because obviously I'm a man first, so you're going to have to deal with that in life anyway, you're going to have to speak to people regardless, do you understand, but to me, obviously I keep myself to myself, obviously if someone speaks to me, then obviously I'll speak back kind of things, you get, unless I actually want to go out of my way and speak to somebody, so yeah, it kind of comes to the territory of, you know, me being an artist and you know me being a, I'm actually a speaker and I'm a people person in a sense so yeah I just go up based off the energy so yeah that's pretty much how I deal with it um, where is your happy place? in my house why? <laughs> uh, cause it's just my home yeah, I would say I have everything there I mean I don't but I have most things there and my happy place is well studio, kind of like uh, that uh, studio, like on a set. That's like my real life happy place. And with just family as well. Like, I'm a very like family oriented kind of guy, so I just feel, you know, uh, elated when I'm around my family and that vibe. Um, and my happy place is on holiday. Not in this country. Where? Uh, well, I can only name places that I've been to. But anywhere but here, I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> like, anywhere but here, it's crazy. Okay, what are you scared of? Birds. <laughs> Fuck it, <hell. laughs> I'm scared of a lot of things, I don't even get Like, I'm actually scared of quite a lot of things, to be fair. Um, that might be a misconception. People would think, oh, he's a hard man, or he's tough, which I am, but. I'm scared of a lot of things. I mean, you can be tough and be scared of a lot of shit. You get it. Mm -hmm. People get onto me about being scared of birds, but be scared of a spider and stuff. That's small. So, you know, that's the kind of perception, perspective of humans. But are you scared of spiders? Mm, not, not to the point where I'll be like, oh, I'm screaming and shit. Like, you've, just, you've probably seen how I move with birds. So, <laughs> I would not move like that with a spider. Okay, fair. Okay. Would you rather be whipped or Who? whipped? Pardon? Would you rather whip or be whipped? <laughs> yeah, that's another idea. I'd rather do the whipping, thanks. Okay. Would you rather give up sex or food? Sex. Did that surprise you? <laughs> <laughs> A little bit. Uh -huh. When was the last time you cried? Yesterday, no, I'm joking. Um, um, 
maybe last year or the year before that. Yeah. You got to give reasons why. Uh, are you asking the question? Yeah, I'm asking the question. Oh. Um, I was going through a hard time. With load. Is it? Yeah, so I would say the last time I cried was about two years ago. Yeah. yeah, so I was going through that tough time, hard time. That's a lie. Hmm? That's a lie. Are you sure that's the only time you cried? Yeah, when did I cry? When else? Any other shows, anything? <laughs> oh yeah, uh, yeah. Well, I mean, that's not crying. Like, that's that like shedding a tear. You get emotional when you're watching a certain anime and shit. You get like, or a certain movie or whatever. Though. That's different than like actual crying. That's just like you know being emotional and like shedding a tear. So yeah, I've watched anime and I've shed a tear. Of course, Attack on Titans. Yeah. Um, Why but, do you love like, anime so much? It's just amazing, man. Like, the storyline, the storytelling, the visuals, the graphics, the fight scenes. But for me, I'm more the story. The story does it for me. I couldn't even lie to you. Like, the stories are amazing. And yeah, no, the story, the writing is just amazing. So I think that's what just draws me in the most. And then <clears throat> everything on top of that. Um, yeah, man, I think it's for everybody. Okay. What it's really getting hot now. It's all it's getting spicy. Yeah, it is. Um, what is the weirdest lie you ever told? I really know what you want to say. You don't know me. Anyway. <laughs> um, the weirdest lie I've ever told. Uh, I don't lie. That's it? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Um, who has been your favourite guest you've had on the talk show so far and why? Are we talking like obviously season one which is out or are we talking season two which is in production? Season two. Season two, yeah, okay. So far, I thought, I'm not, I'm not, that's really hard, I'm not even gonna lie, I'm not just saying that, that because every guest has literally just been epic, like everyone. Um, oh, I've had some amazing conversations with everybody, and oh, favourite? I would say, like, probably one of my favourites, oh, I can't even say it. But like my favourites all to oh, it's a bit hard to say. But um I would say like I see um from chosen 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 one records. That was a really that was a really really impactful and good conversation to get. Um and it was one of them I don't know, I just enjoyed I did I did enjoy that episode. It's weird because the other one was um with uh um, naturally untamed, Zoe from Naturally Untamed as well. Um, it's fun. It's funny because both of the episodes are just me alone, none of my co-hosts. Um, so I don't know. It was just I really I did I just really enjoyed them ones. To be fair. I enjoyed every single one, but I really enjoyed them ones, like the conversation and especially with uh, Zoe Untamed, um, uh, Naturally Untamed. It was really like really really informative, but I really loved the way that she explained things. Like, which was like, uh, that was like the thing that stood out for me as well, do you know what I'm saying? Like, it's all good like speaking about something, but you know, um, you know, when you really like explain it so that everybody understands. So I really did enjoy that. So I would say them too, but every one of the guests of season two has just been epic and amazing, I can't lie. So I'm only answering that because I got asked the question, do you get it? Okay. Would you rather the ability to change the past or see into the future? I think change the past, as in that means go back in yeah. the past. Yeah, yeah, I think I would rather do that because um, there's a lot of things, obviously, don't get me wrong, they're all experiences, like, you know, but there's a lot of things that if I could and I had the same mind set, I would just change and I wouldn't do certain things like, well, 
I know obviously they make you along the way or you know that's that time in life but I want to just change the past to be honest I just saying into the future and what you know now of what you want to do you you don't see it in that future that's crazy as hell <laughs> I'd rather just go and experience that how it's coming without knowing you understand Whereas well, the past I already know what's happened so I can you know if I can change something there I'll change quite a lot of things yeah. Would you rather have an intelligent partner or a good looking partner? Intelligent, 100%. That's what gets my brain going. Would you rather know how the world began or how it will end? How it began. Uh, the rest, how oh, is that basic question now, like silly ones? Oh really? Well, you know, ask them. They might not be silly. It's actually been alright actually in this hot seat. It's not been too like imposing, I guess. <laughs> you get me off would be crazy. Ask me filth. See, I was gonna do that, but I didn't know. Well, just, you're, you're the one doing you're the one uh, hosting the QA over there. I'm just, <clears throat> you know, a marcher. <laughs> Okay, sorry about that, there was a bit of technical difficulties, but we are back now with Jimmy Pates on the hot seat. Okay, what is your favourite sex position? Um, I would say doggy, that's quite generic, but, you know, a lot of things are like uh, circumstantial. So I like missionary though. That sad dumb missionary, because it's way more intimate. Would you ever have a threesome? Unless you've had women. one already. With two women, I would, yes, indeed. Okay. Bucket list stuff. What outfits turned you on? Hmm. Outfits? Yeah. That lingerie or just outfits? Like, the outfit women wear, like, that just turns you on. I do like, like, skirts, leather. Leather skirts with, like, fire-high boots. Or then, like, socks. And, like, socks that come up to, that I don't know, the calf or something that you get. Or even, like, knee. Um, oh, I love that. <laughs> I like leather, anyway, on, that like, women. Um... Outfits. If we're talking like, you know, if you go to visit a female <laughs> and, you know, I like what they're wearing, I mean, yeah, then I like, like, if they wear like a t shirt and then just have nothing else on under. <laughs> I actually love that, I don't know why, but I just do. Okay. Do you consider yourself more sexy or brainy? Mm, more brainy. Why? I just don't think I'm sexy like that. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't, I mean, you know, I feel myself but I'm, I'm not the one. Yeah, I'm sexy man. No. Come on. I get with him. <laughs> Are you a group or butt guy? I'm ass. Like, I, it's so crazy because I'm a breast man too, I can't even lie to you, but like I started off a breast man, like from young all the way up to like, you know, <laughs> a certain time and then it just went ass, like, like infatuated, like, like, one thing about me, I'm going to look at some ass, 100%, <laughs> so I'm an ass man right now. If you could choose one celebrity to have sex with, who would it be and why? See, I'm not really like uh, that whole like, into like, ooh, I've got a celebrity, because I, I believe everybody's reachable, I can't let like, you get. But, just because I'm in the hot seat here, I'm gonna answer. Uh, it would probably be Castro or Sanal Lafer. And why? Well, it speaks for itself, I guess. <laughs> you get me. 
What's your body count? Yeah, that's um, <laughs> immeasurable numbers. Not immeasurable, just like that. But it's actually crazy numbers. Um, uh, I'll say one plus. Huh? <laughs> one plus what? Huh? You said one plus? Yeah, that, yeah. A one a plus. <laughs> okay. Bringing it back to the talk show, what's like your plan for like the next season? Is there going to be a season three? There is definitely going to be a season three. Um, that's dependent on that dependent on you know, how well season two goes once it's aired. But it's definitely happening um, because that's, you know, that's the plan. Um, so there's going to be a season three. Um, plans are just, again, bigger and better. Um, you know, bigger and better, hopefully. Uh, yeah, hopefully, you know, equipment wise, it gets a bit more advanced or better. I get more equipment, you know, for, you know, better sound, better clarity, better look. Um, yeah, obviously, the guests are always just going to be from season one all the way, no matter what season, there's always going to just stay just great guests. Um, and um, yeah, I'm gonna just keep elevating myself as the host and um, it's getting better, man, I guess. So, yeah, that's my plan really to just keep elevating, man, just get bigger and better every season. Okay. Yeah, who would be your dream guest from the UK? That's a good question. Um, There's a few people I would just like to talk to, like, as in, uh, genuinely like to talk to, um, because I just, you know, for one, it's just for the culture. Um, so I'm probably going to name a few, I would say, like, who I guess I've been inspired by, like, uh, their graft or what they're doing, etc. Um, Sincere uh, Lizzie, uh, um, uh, he's like someone who's in the music industry from a while ago, and, um, he just does his entrepreneur. His entrepreneurship is just, you know, next level kind of thing. And obviously, I just get um, motivated by that. Um, so I would definitely love to have him on as a guest. Do you get me? But um, uh, Raspet and um, Farron Paul, because they're like, you know, they're like the, they're like the Malcolm X's. You can get me of this generation in the sense you feel like they're doing the work out there. You, you understand that like, for the community, for knife crime, gun crime, um, and um, you know just just protecting us as a people. Do you understand? So that's always going to be big respect, and I uh, definitely would want them not on the platform to just you know share the knowledge and even pick their brain. You know, I'm trying to say and see how I can help, we can help, whatever, and. Um, uh, I think uh, Anton Dixon, who is like a a big entrepreneur, real estate. Like, um, he he's someone who I found I, I stumbled across like late through like watching like Earn the Leisure. You know, um, he had an interview on there, and then obviously I was thinking, right, he's from the UK, and his his grind and. And his come up story and and his investments, his real estate investments, and you know, it's it's, it's inspirational to get. So I'll definitely like to have him on the platform as well. So, well, yeah, that's 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 who came to mind first. Okay, moving on. Are you gonna have other co-hosts, or would it still be you? Um. Yeah, definitely gonna be me as the host. Uh, I've done two seasons having co-hosts. Um, moving forward, you're just gonna have to see. <laughs> like, yeah. Stay tuned, guys. Yeah, stay tuned, hundred percent. Okay, to round this up, do you have any last words for your peoples? Um, thank everybody for tuning in. Thank everybody for being patient because season two is definitely on its way and it's going to be, you know, I know it's taken a very long time to come out, but, you know, patience is a virtue 
and I just like to do things properly and I like to just deliver a product to everybody with you know good energy high vibrations and um, just properly so that everyone gets you know feels the same way that I feel about giving it to you lot you lot feel it the same way that I've given it to you lot so you lot reciprocate it in a sense um, but yeah I just like everybody who's obviously been a part of it as well like you know giving me their time and you know um, you know their comments their feedback their energy everything and all of that I just appreciate all of that stuff um, and it just it just it just it gives me the motivation to keep going basically and know that I'm actually doing you know I'm doing the, doing the justice basically with what I'm actually doing and what I'm trying to do and what I'm trying to bring forth to you get so yeah man I just appreciate everybody and um, who's supporting even the non-supporters it's all good it's all love so yeah man that's it that's right. oh and thank you behind the camera for your Q and A <laughs> my name is Lauren Ockrin. Yes, Lauren Ockrin. <laughs> but you're supposed to do that. Well, but yeah, thank you, Lauren Ockrin, for you know suggesting this Q and A for you most valuable viewers. So you you lot can thank Lauren Ockrin for you know suggesting to do this. So then you lot can she thought that would be um, quite good to like, get an inside look inside of me, other than when I'm you know interviewing everybody else. So it'll be good to interview me. <clears throat> and also for good content, you know what I'm trying to say. So yeah man, big yourself up and appreciate it. Peace out, my friends.